Okay, while you guys are making up your mind, I'm gonna do some mining. Mining it up here, boss. Uh, I am on my constant sorrow. I see trouble on my day. A flawless amethyst, alright. Uh, bid farewell to old Kentucky. Did you open the door? No, you didn't. Okay, I'll stop it. Uh, everybody, come on out. I want to play. Come on. Attaboy. Over here. Can I get you? There you go. Damn it. I'm fine. <laughs> Just as bad as they are. You see over there? Nobody! Just me! Uh oh. There's a boss. Whoop! Yeah, I... Get up! Fucking games. What the hell am I doing? Run! Game's like glitching out of me. Should be running now. There you go. Jeez, I wouldn't even in sneak mode. Okay, let's try this guy. <laughs> okay. How about you? I told you guys these guys are push over. <laughs> and one of you guys, Linway. You know where Linway took off to? How about you? Pass up. Where's Linway? He's that way. Oh, okay. Already got you. Linway's injured. I know that. There he is. He's over there. Oh, he's dead. Huh. Ends the break, say Lingway. You got a nice sword on you. Okay, let's see what it is. Okay, we got the locket that completes the quest. A glass sword. Okay. And we'll take all that loot. <laughs> You've been passed by the slack. Rival our guild, will you? I don't think so. This Frost Miriam. Yum yum. Chiss and Giggles department. And there's usually a guy standing guard right there. He's gonna come out, so let's use the uh. Oh, okay, I was wrong. Did he come up? I suckered him up already? How about in there? Did I get everybody already? That's it? Y'all dead? Ah. Boo! Okay. And we have to burn the banner. I don't know if it showed up in my journal as one of the objectives. It didn't. This is pretty cool. That's an optional objective. I think if we spoken further with, uh, what's his face, back at Windhelm, we would have gotten an optional objective. Or perhaps further with Delvin. Anyways, no biggie. But it's your story, because I'm garlic. I'll take that. Don't want the carrot. Looting it up here, boss. Alright, worth a pretty penny. Don't want the shoes. What the hell? Let's take a little nap. Alright, if you'll rest in, there's a book here that will level you up. Somebody was asking me, how do I know when books will level you up? It's by the value. You see, this one's worth 50 gold. Okay, usually books are worth like anywhere from 1 to 15 gold. You see, that's worth 5. That's for 7. You know, none of those will, value, will level you up. Some more books over here, I believe. See, there's another one that's only worth 4. But you see something worth like 50 gold, okay? I think that's pretty much the cutoff point. The cheapest book that will level you up. You see something worth 50 gold, that's how you know that the book will will level you up. Unless you already took, like, for example, this leveled up my one-handed, right? Okay. 
Now, if you already took a book that leveled up your one-handed for that particular level, then if you take another book that does the same thing, it won't level you up, right? So it depends if you already took a book that did the same thing. So that's the way that works. Okay, so got everything in here, I presume. There's salt pile. We got that salt pile. We looted that knapsack. Oh, prolonged invisibility. Okay, let's take a look at that. Potion of prolonged invisibility. 50 seconds, that's all? <laughs> that's a potion of prolonged invisibility. 81 seconds, yeah. Okay, I just tipped over the chamber pot there. Ew. My shoes got piss all over him. I think our work here is done. The dam's great. Oh wait, there's these like three cages here. I have no idea what these four are for. Looking very carefully around here. No hidden switches on the side. Yeah, I've looked. What are these for? Anything? I don't believe they're for anything. It's just decoration. What did I miss here? Post a comment. And we're out of here. Don't want any tomatoes. Return to Torsten Cruelty. I wonder where he is now. He's either at the farm or in town having a drink. His farm has wheat on it. Let's go to the farm. Maybe we'll get lucky. His farm has some wheat on it. Okay. I even chicken egg. Okay, and where is he here? He's like bopping all over the place. He's still in town. Sometimes you go to town, he goes back to the farm. Aside from the Khajiit caravans, this guy is one of the most active dudes in Skyrim. He could be like anywhere. He could be at the farm, he could be at... See, now I think he's at the Palace of Kings or at his house. Okay, hang on. Put on the local map here. I do believe he's at the Palace of Kings, okay. Be there when I get there. Don't make me run all over Windhelm looking for aid doing this. We got a nickname for anyone who trifles with us guards here. There he is, good. Dude. I own Hollyfrost Farm outside the city. It's honest work, if a bit dull. Yeah, it's nice. So listen, I got your daughter's locket. It pains me to see this locket. To be reminded of Fjoltli once more, but I'm glad it's back where it belongs. Tell Delvin that if he still desires to have my support for the Thieves Guild in Windhelm, he's got it. Should cool. Have been an adventurer like you instead of a farmer. <laughs> Let me guess. You took an Maybe arrow you to the knee, eh? Heard, yeah. But the Thieves Guild is back. Windhelm is their city now, if you catch my meaning. These guys are like always creeping up behind you. Like. Okay, so what do we get? Uh, some kind of necklace of disease immunity. Let's take a look at that. Here we go. Increases disease resistance by 100%. Wow. That could be actually very useful. Huh. Huh. How about that? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to hang on to that. How much is it worth? Only 500 septums. Okay, so that's that. Um, world map. Journal. Uh, we got to return to the Thieves Guild. 
Take me there, Mr. Map. <laughs> Caught me snacking during the load screens again. Looky here. <laughs> How about that? Everything's all nice and new, and new sheets, new bed, and everything. Yeah. So this is all on account of the slack there. Yeah. I have made some improvements here. Cool. <laughs> all right. Let's take a little nap. Okay. Okay. And Delvin. Looking for Delvin. Here's Vex. Don't want Vex. We've done all the City of Influence quests now. So we've improved the Thieves Guild as much as we can. Still have quite a good bit of jobs available. Yeah. If you're looking for some extra coin. Guess what? I finished that special Windhelm job. Torsten was gratified the death of his daughter was avenged. And the heirloom was returned. At this very moment, he's laying the groundwork for the guild to re-establish itself in Windhelm. Burning that banner was a nice touch too. Should send a clear message to the Somerset Shadows that we're a force to be reckoned with. The guild's at full strength, and we have you to thank for it. Hey, We've had our share no of dark times, and now they seem like a distant memory. I'm gonna tell you something you'll never hear me say again. Okay. If you tell anyone I told you, I'll deny it. Okay. When you walk through the guild, don't be ashamed to hold your head high, because you're the <laughs> best damn thief in the place. Oh, shucks. <laughs> oh. You're getting all teary right here. Hey, this guild needs the coin. Walking away without taking work is not going to make you popular around here. Okay, and there is one more thing we have to do. And that is uh, make a little delivery for Danelia. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I watch Delvin's back. Oh, I already did that. <laughs> Pardon me, okay. <laughs> and now I'm uh, telling her the news. Yeah, I forgot, okay. <laughs> yeah, good. I'll contact some of my people and have them prepare some shipments right away. Good job. Here, let me give you something for all the legwork. Cool. Okay, and as a result of this, I'm not going to do business with Tenulia because I think I only have two of those kick butt potions left. Two of those fortify health potions. Here they are. And they're going to be worth a little if more me. if I sell them up in Windhill. So we're done here. I'm just going to do a little selling. And all our fences now have 4,000 gold done all the City of Influence quests. We have a fence in... At the Hunting Brew Meteor, we have one at the Thieves Guild, two, that's two. We have one at Windhelm, that's three. And we have one at Markarth, that's four. And we have one in the form of a traveling Khajiit caravan, that's five fences, all of whom will have 4,000 gold each. So it's like 20,000 gold at our disposal. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a way to unload a whole bunch of loot that none of the vendors can afford, that's the way to do it. Run through all these additional jobs for the Thieves Guild and do the City of Influence quests. And you'll be styling. And what time is it? It is just past midnight. Well, uh, let's take a look at our active effects. The warrior's doing okay. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's just wait till morning. It's morning. Nearing you should be at the marketplace. There she is. Let's see what you have for me today. Some usual guild rate. Let's take a look at them. And she's got four thousand and five 
gold. Cha ching. What did you got for sale? You got any grand soul gems for me? No, you don't. Okay. How about you? You got any grand soul gems for me? Need anything? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Same as before, so your loot hasn't changed. Okay, I want to sell those sure to stop by used Fortify health range. potions to Nurinye, and I might be able to get a better price if we give this beggar a coin around the corner here. You there? Need some bunny? Another one. Terrible. Okay, I know you're living in the streets and all, but um, I heard you can give the blessing of the gift of charity to me. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Thank you. There you go. The gift of charity added. And what is the gift Holy of charity to it? Well, okay, you there. Get out. I don't want this side quest. Okay, get out. Get out of my face. Okay. And what does the gift of charity do? It um, levels up your. Well, it doesn't level you up. It improves your speech skill by 10 points for the next hour. Which should give us uh, slightly better prices. So, let's put on the Thieves Guild Hood. Gobble down a potion of better business. Drink a better business beverage here. One of these. And if sell her those two remaining. Give special rates to members of the Thieves Guild. Show me what you've got. health potions. Which now sell for... 1482 a pop. Sweet. Well, sell my both. That's it. All my big ass potions are done, and I have 46,000 gold. Almost 47,000 gold. Hey, thumbs up for the Slack. Yeah. Um, so that's it. That's it for the uh, Thieves Guild additional jobs run. Uh, where do I want to park myself? Let's just call it a run here, and I'll decide later. Uh, what I want to do, where I want to proceed from here. Um, most likely continuing the main, the Thieves Guild main quest line, because otherwise everyone's going to have a litter of kittens if I don't. You say, Slack, you started the Thieves Guild main quest line and you didn't finish it. Well, actually, honestly, people, the only reason I did the Thieves Guild quest was to do exactly what I just did. Is to act, that's to activate all these fences and get them with a whole Take bunch of gold. That was my main quest. That was my main objective, okay? Get away from these NPCs. That was my main objective. But I will finish the Thieves Guild main quest line just for posterity, okay? okay let's just save the game here. <laughs> okay. Okay. And now I'm going to sign out. Thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought these videos were remotely entertaining, hey, don't forget to give your old slacks there a thumbs up. Yeah. All right. That's it. I am out of here.